Hey, fire signs. How you guys doing? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. It is, this reading is for Aries, Leo, Sag. We are looking at November 6th. I always say, well, I say frequently that um, one reading doesn't necessarily follow the other, but it does feel like the air signs followed each other today, so we'll see about you guys. It's a, it's a constant unveiling for me to see how this works. So welcome in. If you're new to the channel, hey, how are you? Welcome in. This is a lovely community of people. And here we are talking about the fire signs. So feel free to um, swap around the characters. This is a general reading. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I could even be talking to a cross watcher. If, the, if this reading doesn't resonate for you today, don't try to jam yourself into it. Look at your moon rising or Venus sign or um, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Let's see what's going on for you. Let's see what's going on for you. Aries, Leo, Sag. All right. Got this fox before. Wow. Interesting. All right. Moving away from a sneaky character here. Somebody was trying to take advantage of you, but I think you're moving forward. Yep. Taking a risk. Taking a risk by moving forward with this person. This person might have not been giving you a lot of information um, or may not have shared their feelings very much with you. I feel like you're going to take a risk on this person. Okay. That's what that's about. So as we get more into it, I might want to read a little bit about that. I might want to do that. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see where the wind takes us. This is the fire reading, right? Let's see where we go here. All right. One more, please. Whoo! Boy, this has been a crazy, crazy month. Um, the Venus in Sagittarius reading is up. I did one of those for Twin Flames today, and Saggies, you might be interested in that. Fire Signs, definitely. Page of Cups. Oops, sorry, there's a reflection from the light. Um, this is like a small gesture. It could be from that person that was sneaky. Oh, dear. Um, yeah, getting over something. Getting over something in a big way. Woo, that's nice. That's really nice. Um, so in the past, I feel like you guys might have been together. I feel like there might have been some hurt, some difficulty. You guys are successfully moving forward into something better. Um, the past needs to get blown up here, okay? So Aquarius energy here, Three of Wands, definitely moving to the future. Three of Cups, Celebration. You could be moving forward in a lot of different ways. So if this was a relationship largely built around, let's just say, just love, okay? Um, I don't think that worked very well. So here's like the past here. You and the person, uh, Ten of Swords and Tower energy. Um, but what comes after the Tower, literally in the deck, literally in the deck of Tarot. If you're not a Tarot reader, you um, let me just explain. So Six uh, Tower, the next card is, this, is the... Uh, is the star card all right and so what comes out of this blow up what comes out of this um problem i feel like you both got hurt by it a little bit like something went down there needs to be some kind of apologizing here i feel like on both sides okay um you are moving forward and overcoming the situation getting stronger moving into being courageous i feel like this Ten of Swords here really um, taught you a lot of lessons, okay? And you're remembering them this time, all right? It's like, you might have been like, oh, yeah, yeah, I've been, I learned that lesson before, eesh, right? And so whatever that lesson is, you've learned it before. And so it reminds you, yeah, okay, I got this, all right? I got this. So the person you're dealing with, they had a tower moment, and then three of pentacles, eight of pentacles. So the weird part about, well, not weird, but um, the interesting, let's just, <laughs> oh, thesauruses, aren't they great? So the interesting part 
of this is you may move forward and and um while it, remember what i said about it was just like just about love now you could be moving forward into friendship and work collaboration and like the the relationship just expands it in many ways it was held too small by it just being about love i feel like this person has a lot of um a lot of capabilities a lot of talents you are really going to benefit from keeping this person in your life in some financial way in a friendship kind of way this person really does have your back all right they really do they may not have wanted it to work out like this they may be the ones who um felt like you just cut them off or something like that but at the end of the day this this connection has a lot of facets to it a lot of possibilities to it okay so what's happening now is the star and three of wands really um seeing the vision of the future and manifesting that vision of the future right and you're going to raise a glass together for whatever project you're working on together it becomes a really good collaboration i feel like the risk is this is also the three of wands okay which we got also with this deck the colla the collaboration the risk is okay i don't want this to be a love relationship or the love relationship's not working for me right now maybe and you're kind of blowing that up and working with it in a different way and i see three of pentacles three of wands three of cups so this might have started as a third party situation uh where it was you know you guys were working together and there was love developing or something like that and then it got swept away for some reason you or them the broader purpose of this relationship is friendship and working together and creating something together right because in the love relationship the creation of the thing together could be a baby but there's also a, you know a family there's also the third party in a relationship is the relationship. So there's you and me, and then us together in this situation is a relationship. That's a third party technically, okay? It has a life of its own. So when you're in relationship with somebody, if it wants to expand, if its purpose, its higher purpose, the higher purpose between the two of you is something different than how you guys started down this road right this is not meant to be uh how you think of it or how anybody thinks of a third party we think of it as cheating or anything like that this is not meant to do that because there's other stuff in this relationship that's really good all right and if you did go down that road you could never uncover um the triumph the the overcoming of past hurts you could never and you could never experience where you're going with this, which is, you know, could be big money, could be big fame, could be something like that. I feel like you almost had to go through this ending in order for you guys to explore some of these things. Could be working together on a book, could be working together on a project, could be working together, could be friendship, could be like you guys are hanging out in a bigger circle of friends, right? There's just so much here of where you're going um that it would be it would be shut off the universe did you a favor okay it, the the real potential of this relationship would have been shut off because how you were doing relationship was too small the love part of this the where it was going especially if it was a third party was too small to contain what is going on in this relationship okay it was too small so six of cups ace of swords ten of cups nine of swords two of swords seven of wands five of cups so there was a lot of um there was a lot of love connection here six of cups ten of cups ace of swords but i feel like there might have been a disagreement there might have especially when we're talking about a third party situation that was like a fantasy that was something that was 
um, not real. And so that eventually became crashing down that it wasn't real. And so now this can be built on something real. Now this relationship, this person is going to be in your life, okay, for a long time. This relationship can be built on something real, tangible, solid, okay? The, the way the relationship started, even though there was this lovely looking forward into Ten of Cups, Six of Cups, you know, Ace of Swords, like this is really what I want. It couldn't have been achieved if you built it on this sand, you were built trying to build something solid on sand. And so that had to be swept away. And it might have been a hurtful thing. It might have been a hurtful experience that it needed to get swept away. But you are overcoming this. The, these are the two cards of overcoming that. Six of Wands, strength. Uh, becoming much stronger because of that. Having new lessons because of that. Having, um, bringing in just this bigger vision of what this relationship can be. Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. This person is reciprocating. So is it a risk? Yes, because you went through this stuff. Ten of Swords Tower, right? It's, a de it's, it's definitely a risk. You went through all that to be able to say to somebody, hey, hey, hey girl, hey. Um, I would like to move this forward into something else, having a bigger vision, Aquarius energy, three of wands, three of cups. Okay. And I don't see the three of swords in the beginning of this. I see that it was 10 of swords. It just, woo, right. It just woo, went to the end here. So I feel like the two of swords and nine of swords, you weren't really um, listening. You were very much caught up in the fantasy of what this could be. You guys were both very much resisting. Uh, one of you has regrets about how that went, but I feel like the moving forward here, this is a really good thing. It doesn't mean that this is never going to turn back into love again. It just means that how you started this off and how you were building it, the, the foundation of it was not stable and it could not exist anymore. Had to go away. Okay. So I'm going to see where this goes. Let's see how this unfolds here. This person, um, their true intentions with you, their feelings about you, and where we're going to go. Okay, Fire Sign, uh, link is below for you. This is November 6th. I'll see you on the other side.